What's a performance max campaign in Google Ads anyway? How do you set up Google Ads performance max campaigns the right way? In this video about performance max campaigns, I'm gonna answer all of those questions and more. My team has been dabbling with performance max campaigns since they were in beta, and believe me, they have come a long way. This campaign type used to be on a platform that Google reps would aggressively market that wouldn't always get results. But if you learn how to set them up in the right way, then Google Ads Performance Max campaigns will get you the strong results that you need. Here's what you need to know to set up performance campaigns the right way. So what is a Performance Max campaign? Well, Performance Max, also known as Pmax, is an all-in-one campaign type that displays ads across all of Google's channels, including YouTube, Display, Search, as well as Shopping, Discover, Gmail, and Maps. Google will also be deprecating and rolling out Smart Shopping and Local campaigns into Pmax soon, so keep a lookout for that. All right, so what is so different about Pmax? Well, it all comes down to the campaign structure. Most notably in terms of the structure, ad groups are now known as asset groups, product groups are now known as listing groups, and by the way, unlike smart shopping, Performance Max can be also used for e-commerce and for lead generation. Now, why would you use a Performance Max campaign? Well, for e-commerce retailers, we've seen success with smart shopping and Pmax takes it to the next level by adding on some additional placements and reach. This acts as a smart shopping campaign with retargeting and even prospecting display ads layered on top of it. On the same end, you can see this work really well for lead generation, where Performance Max can deliver scale and efficiency that you could be pretty hard to top through search and display alone. At the same time, it's important to feed the system the correct signals so you don't end up with poor quality leads. Anyway, now that we've established the what and the why, let's get into the how. Upgrading from smart shopping campaigns. Now, if you've been using smart shopping campaigns, it's recommended to use the one-click upgrade tool in the recommendations tab. Using this tool will sync the campaign's historical performance into the backend, which enables PMAX to hit the ground really running. You'll want to also check all of your settings, locations, asset groups, and listing groups. Since smart shopping campaigns are much more limited in terms of display ads, you'll want to also add in some additional creative and copy to your asset groups to make sure that you're covered for the display placements that Pmax is giving you access to. It's also a good idea to add in some audience signals as well. Campaign structure. Now, what is the best way to structure your Pmax campaigns? Well, unless you need to split into multiple campaigns for location targeting or your budget allocation, I recommend condensing these as much as possible. This will allow the system more data signals to reach optimal performance. And since there's no reporting on the asset group level, you may wanna break out different products and different services into separate campaigns for reporting purposes. And for stores with few products, we try to condense as much as possible. After all, simplicity over complexity, always. Segment into themes of product or service so that the creative and copy will match your underlying offerings, whether they be products or services. Now, let's get into conversion goals. You'll want to choose the conversion actions that make the most sense for your business. For e-commerce and shopping, choose purchases. For lead gen services, choose calls, forms, chats, etc. And by the way, to improve your lead quality, focus on calls over forms and chats if it makes sense for your if it makes sense for your business. Now let's get into location targeting. When you're setting up your campaign, after choosing your targeted locations, make sure to select presence, which is people in or regularly in your targeted locations. When you're getting into your ad groups or now asset groups, your messaging and your creative assets should be tightly themed to the product or service within the group. If you don't provide a video, Google will make a terrible one for you. We highly recommend that you create something basic using Canva, Premiere, or a similar tool. For e-commerce, something worth testing for Google Shopping specifically, especially if you've seen success with, with smart shopping campaigns historically, is to launch a Pmax campaign with no assets aside from your data feed. Keep in mind, for this, you're going to likely need to create a new asset group. Let's talk about exclusions. 
First off, you have customer exclusions. We recommend uploading your customer list and have the system exclude them all from targeting. This is useful if you wanna focus on new customer acquisition, which is, in our opinion, what you should measure the success of Pmax campaigns for your business on. Next up, there's keywords. If you have a Google rep, they can block branded search terms from Pmax for you. There's also audience signals, which are different from audience targeting. The system uses this as a signal to find your ideal prospective customer, but it won't limit you to the target of the audience targeting that you would normally set. This can be a good thing or a bad thing, so keep an eye out. We have seen some success with the following. First up, customer match. Start by uploading a list that you have, including email addresses and phone numbers. It could be previous customers, email subscribers, previous purchasers, you name it. Next up, we've also seen custom intent working. Build a list of your top performing keywords from search and standard shopping interests. Target people based on their predetermined interests in Google Ads. Website visitors are also a great way to do a signal. Uh, target these users based on your account's pixel data. Google will then use the data of your website visitors, leads, purchasers, and high engagers to target new customers. The last thing there also is the data feed, which can be very useful indeed. For e-commerce, the most important piece of the puzzle is the product information. While everything else will help, the data feed that you submit to the Google Merchant Center will have the largest impact on your Performance Max campaign performance. Last up, we want to make sure that you're submitting as much info as possible. This includes brand, MPN and SKUs, UPC codes, descriptive titles, including keyword optimization, Google taxonomy and categorization, your product type, multiple images, ideally video or two, custom labels, bid strategies, and uh, anything else that you can add that's going to give the full context to Google of what your product is and what your unique value propositions are. And this will really allow you to, even though it's a lot of work, uh, provide the best chance for your Performance Max campaign to deliver the highest amount of value. Now, Performance Max campaigns, just to wrap up, have the two following options available for your conversion goals. First of all, you could do Maximize Conversions with Optional Target CPA, or you could also go for the maximize conversion value with optional target ROAS. This is technically four different options. If your account has already a lot of historical data, you can jump right into target CPA or target ROAS. With a new account, however, we recommend you start with maximize conversions so the system can start to gather some data. Later on, once you're already seeing the steady conversions, switch to TCPA or TE ROAS to hit your goals. That's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed and you will now feel enabled to be able to make your own Google Ads Performance Max campaigns. As always, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. And if you wanna see more videos about how to improve your Google Ads performance, TikTok Ads performance, or anything in digital marketing, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. We'll be releasing multiple videos every day on these topics and we have a ton of experience that we're excited to share. Thanks so much and we'll talk to you next time.